Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God. So you survived the war, too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you, either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true, for I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. Known you were one of them, Johnny. Why was I so blind? Good evening, miss. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am. I am. Karina Billow. I don't need any doctor. The rats. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No, it's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. I can't stop eating them. Help me, please. Help me to disobey the voice. I promise to your father, this house is now yours, murderous son. Hello again, Venus. Jonathan, you're still up. Can't you just knock at people's doors during the day? I'm sure you can spare me a few minutes, for old time's sake. Of course you may enter, Jonathan. You know that you are always welcome here. Hour of night? It's a pleasure to see you again, Venus. So you returned from the war in one piece, too. Thank God. My Clarence is back home, too. How is the old rascal? Probably outside, chasing ghosts and chimeras. Clarence has changed a lot since he returned from the war, you know. Jonathan, what have you become? Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan, I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, you have come back too late, sir. Far too late. I know, Avery. I know about Mary and my mother. I'm so sorry. It was my duty to watch over her. She left the house in the middle of the night. The police said... It's all right, Avery. The police said her body was found near your sister's grave in Whitechapel. You're the master of the house now. I'd understand if you fired me, sir. Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop.
Poor me. Oh no, poor me. I'm dying. For real. No one will cry for me now. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. So in the end, was it you we were waiting for? Death was our destination. Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. This makes no sense. No sense at all. I should have told my brother to go sooner. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last! All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. <laughs> Forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? Sure.